Greetings, this is Robert Sapiro, administrator here at Greenacre, a Baha'i Center of Learning in Elliott, Maine. Um, as, as we all know, the pandemic has changed our lives in many ways, and for Greenacre, which was a place where people gathered together in person, it was a significant change. And so we've had a very reduced uh, amount of in-person activities um, over the last couple of years. Um, during the last six months, we've been really learning about how we can bring people back together safely uh, given the COVID situation and various safety protocols that we've put into place. So we've uh, done a whole series of in-person local events uh, for an evening or a partial day. Um, we've also um, begun to have a number of weekends with small groups with, pe with folks here overnight as we had done so much in the past. Um, with that learning in place, um, we feel confident about moving forward, especially given the changing uh, in a positive direction of, of COVID at this moment. Um, so we have decided that we're going to, you know, try and jump in as much as possible with our summer activities um, as, as we possibly can. Um, Another big aspect over the last two years with this COVID situation has been a chance for Greenacre to reflect on its mission and vision and purpose. Um, and one of the things that we've come to realize is that our, our primary goal is to align Greenacre's resources, um, the people, the accommodations, the activities, with the series of global plans um, that are coming from the Baha'i World Center. So what that means for us is a particular attention to focusing on the local area. For us, that's the Piscataqua cluster, as well as supporting the institutions at the regional level in the Northeast. Um, so we've been really focused on how we can help to contribute to those plans, and as a result, we've prioritized uh, those activities around that. Um, another area that we're, we remain focused on, because we're, you know, as, as, the, as an agency, uh, part of the Office of Education and Schools of the National Spiritual Assembly, we also prioritize um, NSA-sponsored uh, programming. And one other area that we've been exploring a lot is through the arts and dialogue, learning how to explore the discourses of society. Um, so as we move into summer and think about that, that becomes where, how we're prioritizing what we're going to be doing. So when we look ahead at the schedule, we'll be focused on activities of the Regional Training Institute, holding courses and camps uh, that they provide. Um, we'll also be focused on NSA-sponsored programs um, like the Institute for the Study of Global Prosperity, the Association of Baha'i Studies, and the Wilmette Institute, um, as well as continuing to learn about engaging in the arts and dialogue around um, the big issues of the day. Um, we'll continue to have some of the other programming that we've done in the past, but in a smaller, uh, smaller time frame. So one of the things that we've learned in Greenacre over a long period of time is we are very, we had in the past been a very summer focused uh, location. So most of our activities were geared in the summer and focused in the summer. And that meant that in the spring, the Greenacre staff geared up to do summer. In the summer, we went all out. In the fall, we collapsed. And then the winter, we started all over again. Um, we've been giving guidance to really be steady all the year round. So we're going to move away from having five day programs to having two to three day or long weekend programs for the other offerings that we'll be doing. Um, we will, um, as, as the schedule develops, we'll be sharing over the coming weeks the specific activities that are going to be available. So please be on the lookout on our website and through our e-newsletter for, for updates. Thank you.